YouTubers, it's Tyler here again, and today we're gonna upgrade the S10 to an eight-inch torque converter. Yes. Let me tell you what, that it's way easier said than done. And truer words have never been spoken. Since that time, he's had a jacket on, and it's been a debacle to uh, put that eight-inch in. And the reason why is because first when I pulled the transmission back and lowered it down to uh, get the uh, torque converter out, right when I looked up in the bell housing, of course, there was a crack in the bell housing. And a TH350 transmission does not have a removable bell housing. But there is a fix. That has an Ultra Bell. Uh, it's uh, basically a product uh, made by, I think it's JW, JW Ultra Bell. If I'm wrong, I'll just put a link right here. But uh, what you have to do is you have to cut your old bell housing off. You'd be very careful about this and cut it off and then get it to bolt up flush to your pump. It's very important to get it to go flush to your pump. Now I didn't really film all this because after that debacle, I was just frustrated. I just wanted to get it done. And then to make problems even worse, when I was looking at the uh, rear transmission mount, there was a crack, of course, in the transmission where the bolts went in. And that's probably what caused the crack in the bell housing because it was causing that tail to move and it was kind of flexing up here and more than it needs to be. And that's probably what caused that. So I was like, crap, now my transmission has a crack in it. What am I gonna do? So I kind of brainstormed, sat down. I was like, you know what? I'll make something that'll work. I'm not too far from the tail housing bolts. So what I did, I made a bracket really thick still uh, to go across the bottom, weld it up to the top, put a little angle piece on there, and here's the picture of it. Bolted onto the two bolts, or I moved the bolts that were in the tail housing, and I put two grade eight bolts in there, and they're in there pretty good. And I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. It looks probably stronger than it was for factory. Now, I'll, I'll address that crack in the transmission whenever it needs to be rebuilt. I had someone weld it up. And I'll probably still use that little brace that I made. So that fixed that issue, thankfully. You know, it worked really good. Uh, it fixed all my low-end problems. I can now just burn the tires up. So I'm looking forward to taking it back to the track. I'll probably film that pretty soon. And then what I had was a cooling issue. Uh, the cooling issue was I had a Proform electric water pump from the factory, it was wired going in reverse, the opposite direction of what the motor wants to go. So I reversed that, it cooled a little better, but on the highway, it was still getting hot. Cause I'm going down the highway, you got 411 gears, trying to go 70 miles an hour. With the eight inch stall, you're doing like 40, 4,000, 4,500 RPM. For a motor that's seven grand, uh, you know, that's not a big deal in RPM, you're not gonna hurt anything. But it does produce a lot of heat. And that's the one bad thing about eight inch stalls is it, th they do produce a lot of heat and that's why you can't really drive them very far because they never lock up. So what I did to fix the heating issue with the motor, I went to a mechanical pump. And the mechanical pump's gonna flow a lot more water when you're at the speed because the electric pump's not ever going to flow any more water whether you're at idle or you're going down the highway. So that really fixed that issue and then I installed better fans that weren't so ghetto what I had before and I just think everything's way more clean than it was. So that's all I got right now on the old S10. I'll get some more videos for you guys and I'm also going to put these heads together next so I'll be looking for that video too.